it's doing some other things besides just dopamine that is making your brain fire more completely than just this super dopamine rush. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this FL Adrafinil. I'm just gonna be giving you my personal experiences with it. So, you know, you may have another reaction to it. You may have a bad reaction to it. I don't know, this one has not been studied. So do your own research before jumping right into it. But I actually found this one for me to be actually pretty relaxing, really not much side effects at all. Wasn't really addicting. It was like a well-balanced nootropic slash drug. It was very, very weird. It's technically a stimulant, but it's unlike any other stimulant I've ever come across because most stimulants, you know, pretty much can give you anxiety. And this one I found to be kind of like anti-anxiety, especially when you're first taking it. So most people who are going to find this supplement by search are pretty much going to already know a lot about it. You know, they're going to do their own research. But, you know, I've made a lot of videos about DMAA, DMHA, teacrine, dynamine, amp citrate, all these research, chemical, stimulant kind of things. So I've, I've done a lot of stuff on this channel involving stimulants that aren't caffeine so a lot of people most people have not heard of this one so I'm kind of gonna give you a basic rundown as I understand it from the research that I've done online so it's it is gonna be very sciencey I'm gonna be trying my absolute best to make it very simple a b c d so let's start with modafinil modafinil is a prescription drug in the u.s and it is basically kind of like an add drug it is kind of like a smart drug i think it is basically just like a stimulant focus kind of drug modafinil was actually found two years after adrafinil adrafinil was found first and then they found that adrafinil had metabolites called modafinil. So they decided this modafinil was kind of the thing that made everything work. So what's the point of having this adrafinil that converts into modafinil when you could just go get this modafinil? So that's kind of what they did and that's why it's prescription until this day. However, adrafinil was found first Adrafinil was patented in France. I think it's still pretty easy to get in the US, although it was kind of harder for me to find straight Adrafinil. I'd actually probably prefer Adrafinil because it's a little bit closer conversion to Modafinil, which is the main kind of thing we're going for here. I've never heard of Modafinil. I've never heard anybody talk about it. But then if you go online, there is lots of circles of people who know lots about it at the same time. So Adrafinil turns into Modafinil and it's Modafinil is like, it's supposed to have like a 12 to 14 hour half-life meaning it's gonna last pretty much all day there's probably gonna be little doses of it when you wake up in the morning because it just lasts so so long 12 to 14 hours is insane DMAA and DMAJ are, are insane and I think their half-life is only like eight to nine hours so this is even longer it is gonna be lasting longer than modafinil because you think of okay it's a drafinil it has to convert to modafinil so there has to be time for this conversion then your body has to take the 12 to 14 hours to get ready rid of the modafinil. So technically it would probably be better to just have modafinil, but we don't have that option. And one thing I like is that adrafinil was actually a patented compound. It's not like this research chemical that nobody really knows about. Like people understand adrafinil and modafinil is actually patented. So we've gone over adrafinil, we've gone over modafinil. So that same company who found adrafinil and modafinil, they also added some of these fluoro atoms to both modafinil and adrafinil. So this is basically the fluoro version of adrafinil. Again, I would prefer to just have adrafinil, but I don't have access to it. But the fluoro makes it much more potent and stronger. Apparently you need, from what I've heard, about 300 milligrams of adrafinil to convert into the right amount of modafinil. If somebody had a gun to my head and said, you have to take a whole bunch of one stimulant, I would probably take this one just because it's not going to be good for your body. You know, you're probably going to have to go through some stuff to get out of it you might feel a little weird but a little bit more safe than something like caffeine or dmaa or even something like adderall in my opinion it's just much more safe so basically this is the fluoro version of adrafinil now adrafinil has lots and lots of studies and details on it but not really the fluoro version now if you go online remember how i said they added the fluoro to modafinil and adrafinil it's actually harder for me to find the fl modafinil so i had to go with the adrafinil. There's a lot of people saying their test
testimonials of FL Modafinil online. There's almost nobody talking about this one specifically. I actually got this from Buy DMAA online, I think. This is the only Afinil that they offer. I know somebody else was also telling me about some Hydrofinil or something like that. I kind of want to check into it. So that's my long, long chemistry kind of talk. You know some more, just let me know down below. But that's basically my understanding of it. Modafinil is a prescription, basically like ADD smart drug. Adrafinil was discovered first. Adrafinil turns into Modafinil and then they have these floral versions that are more potent, meaning that you can you, you can use a lower dose and get the same effect and that's what we have right here so let's jump into the pros that i had with this supplement the pros is that it's pretty much like an all-day nootropic like i was saying it takes 12 to 14 hours to get out of your body but that's once it's converted so it unfortunately it does take about two hours to fully kick in but i've just felt like an all-day kind of a mood boost especially the first couple days that i was taking this it it was like i had energy for things that mattered but as soon as i found something that didn't matter i just just cut it right out of my brain which you know something like caffeine or even something like Adderall it's so easy to get distracted doing something that's not important and I actually didn't like that about those this one actually feels like more like a smart drug or like a nootropic or like it's doing some other things besides just dopamine that is making your brain fire more completely than just this super dopamine rush, which makes you feel like you're getting a lot done, but in reality, you're a little bit tweaky and it's not the best. It's so weird because I know no other supplements or anything that provides the stimulant effect, but then also an anti-anxiety effect. Razor sharp focus, like it literally helps with anxiety, but then it also helps give you energy. It, you'd be hard pressed to find another supplement that does that because I've never heard about it. And even when I'm describing it to people, they kind of need to try it out to see what it's like. And it pretty much is like a smart drug. Like this is the closest thing that I've ever tried to a legitimate smart drug, like all in one, lasts forever, makes you have energy but also kind of relaxes you at the same time lasts all day this is the closest thing for sure that I've ever come across I took this for several days in a row just because it didn't feel addicting and I was like man I like this little boost you know but then you do start to feel just a little bit different and I would kind of want to give my body time without it so that when I do take it it will uh, you know hit longer you know it lasts forever it's probably gonna still be a little bit in your body when you wake up the next day so if you take it every day it's gonna constantly be in your system so you're almost you might need it because it, it kind of affects your mood so it's something that I do not recommend taking every day if I were to recommend I would say maybe two to three times a week and it really doesn't throw your mood off I would just say to just make sure that it fully gets out of your system and to make sure that it fully works as intended I do not think it's really addicting I didn't really get any jitters on it at all if you're somebody who has a large dose of caffeine you're probably still gonna need some caffeine with this one or almost your normal dose because you you know it's not like something that's gonna wake you up that much like it's a slight mood boost but if, if you like need other stimulants you might need to take low doses of those to feel normal another pro of this is that it's actually patented I think it's called CRL 40 comma 941 and I think 940 is FL modafinil and this is 941 for the adrafinil. Anyways, it's patented, which means that it was studied and they liked it so much that they wanted to put a patent on it because they found it to be effective. And then another pro of this is that it's a low dose kind of a thing, like you don't need very much. Personally, they sent me like a 30 milligram little spoon and my go-to is three big rounded scoops. I don't know how much that is, that's just my go-to. Maybe I need a little bit less I have no idea but that's kind of been my go-to I like that you need a very low dose for this one and then it is pretty affordable I think this was like $35 for five grams online and I actually ordered some other stuff from a DMAA online I'll put the website down below for sure but I ordered some other stuff from them and this was the most effective per milligram and everything else cost about the same so I do think this is really effective for the all-day mood boost that you get all right guys if i were to jump into the cons of this supplement i don't have too too many if you take the normal cautions you should take with anything you know try not to take it every single day try to aim for two to three times a week i recommend any supplement whether it's kratom whether it's anything you know make sure you're not relying on it and also making sure your brain gets completely clear and back to normal before you take some more i totally recommend that but another con of this one is that it is not very researched almost at 
all, even um, people reviewing it on YouTube, I think there's just some random guy who did one review on it. Um, you can find a lot of reviews on the FL Modafinil. I would think there's about 15 or so, but uh, for this one, there's actually not that many. So there's people online talking about it, but I haven't really found too many YouTube videos. And then another con with this one is it's not really euphoric, but at the same time, euphoria is such a trick. And you know, everybody thinks that they want it, but you can't have euphoria 24 seven. And the more euphoria that you get from a supplement, most likely the more crash you're gonna have. So it's gonna make you really unbalanced. On top of that, euphoria can make you not really see things clearly, you know? So I'd almost rather have this nice mood boost versus a full on euphoria. However, I will say when I take this, I have felt a pretty like decent level of euphoria for about a solid hour, but I would say that that's not really the majority of the experience that I have with it. It's just more of like a pleasant stimulation with a calming effect. It's just very, very nice. On top of it being not euphoric, it is 100% not a party drug. Um, this is pretty much just 100% a smart drug. When I was thinking, when I've heard what Adderall is, this is what I would assume Adderall does because you know, it's supposed to make you focus, but then make you calm. It's supposed to be a smart drug. That's kind of what I find this to be. I find Adderall to be much more edgy. And then another con of this is the long half-life. So modafinil has a 12 to 14 hour half-life, but then you have to wait for the conversion because it's a drafinil, right? So you have to wait for that conversion. And then on top of that, the FL is supposed to make it last even longer. So, I mean, and this supplement isn't really research. So the half-life might even be like 16, 17 hours, which is just lasting all day, you know? But for me, it's very easy for me to take naps on this. It's very easy for me to fall asleep. I have no issues with that at all. But anyways, guys, this is a pretty interesting compound. Of all the compounds I've tried recently, this one blew me away the most. I had some absolutely fantastic days the first couple of times I was taking this. It felt like so slight that I took it every day from, you know, maybe up to around two weeks or like only almost every day for two weeks, I highly recommend not doing that because after, you know, a week, week and a half, two weeks, which I don't recommend anybody do, I didn't feel that good, you know? I felt kind of a little bit off. Something's in my body that I need to get out. I need to wait like several days because it lasts so long to get fully out. And I took two days off. I ended up taking it today. And I really wish I waited a little bit longer, to be honest, just because it does last so long. And it, it didn't have that feeling like I, I had when I first took it. And that's probably because I need to give it a little bit more time off. But at the same time, it's not like something to where you feel terrible not having it. The days that I took off this, I had actually, it felt really pleasant. I slept a little bit more, but it felt really pleasant. But have you heard about this supplement? Have you not heard about this supplement? Have you heard of modafinil? To be honest, I heard about modafinil and the echoes of YouTube, but I, nobody that I knew ever brought it up to me ever. And I'm pretty sure if I were to talk to people about it, nobody knows about it either. So I'll be very interested to see what you guys think down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and they couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.